Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. I am here today to share with you a design team project for craft supplies for you. Hopefully I can get through this video without having a coughing fit because of course I'm sick again. So um, I'm going to try to get through this as best as possible. So um, what I did was um, I took this box that I had in my stash and this is actually a birch box and um, every month when I get my boxes I always save them because they're made of you know nice quality cardboard and you can repurpose them for a lot of things. Sometimes I will um, use them for storage like in my desk drawers and stuff. Um, so I kind of have a little stack of them in my stash and so I decided that I wanted to alter one of them up into a really cute box so the box I wanted to keep some of the original color as you can see like it is pink the top was a little bit lighter pink I mean darker pink and then the bottom was a little bit lighter pink so I kind of wanted that color to show through on both pieces so the first thing I did was, um, if you can see like right here, I took this paper from my stash and it was just like a light pink and it had these gold polka dots on it. So I cut a piece that was a little bit smaller than the top of the box and I crinkled it up really good because um, I wanted to have like this texture to it. So I just kind of balled it up a few times and if it ripped it was okay because um, I wanted you know to have just that like... Um, shabby look to it so I um, did that and I just glued it down with some hot glue and I did I didn't do it completely flat because I wanted to have like the bumps and stuff if you can see here so I took a piece and did it around the top and then I did little strips on each side again I wanted it to be smaller than the actual size because I wanted the color from the box to show through so I did that just on all of the sides <clears throat> like that. And then the next thing I did was, um, I've, I know I've told you guys before, but whenever I'm finished with the project, I always like to save my scraps and stuff because you can always use them again later on on other projects. So um, these little pieces right here, were from a spray that I had left over from another project and um, kind of the look that I was going for um, on this box I just thought that they would be um, perfect for it so these were just some leftover pieces like scraps that I had um, so I originally put these down and it was three different pieces and I just kind of made a little pattern and then um, Later on, I went back and I tucked some of these pieces of this trim in. So, um, originally, I just barely glued these down because I'm always changing my mind and wanting to add things. And um, if I was to put a layer of glue, like, on the bottom here, you wouldn't be able to, to go in afterwards. So, normally what I do is, like, around the one part, I'll just glue one part down, kind of get it to where it's on my project, and then... Um, if I decide to later on add things like I did here because I added these like pieces underneath afterwards It's a lot easier because I just lift this part up and tuck them in and glue them in there and then um, Later on once I'm all done and I have everything where I want it to be I will go in and then since this part was loose I just went underneath and added a little tiny bit of glue to hold it down and then you'd never know so um, <clears throat> I did that all the way like on all right here and then on top of that I added this loop trim right here I am added a piece right here and then I added a piece right here just so you can kind of see a little bit of it popping through and then um, I wanted to have like a big like collage of flowers <coughs> excuse me so um, I took these um, handmade flowers um, these two and added them and then I added some other flowers that are from the shop so um, I kind of just went through and added the big flowers first which would be like these these are so pretty they're like a two-toned 
um, white and pink. So I added those and then um, added this one right here. Again, this flower was left over from a previous project. Um, <clears throat> I freaking, um, sorry, I cannot talk. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get through it. So please bear with me. Um, I had this left over from a previous project and um, this kind of goes well with like this. So I wanted to make sure I added this onto this project and I think it looks really cute right there. I love that it has the different um, layers. I love this right here, the organza part. And then it has these little stamens that come attached to it already. So I added that there. <clears throat> and then um, I added these little rolled flowers. They're made from organza as well. So there's one tucked in here, one here, and then there's one over here. <clears throat> and then... I added as another little pop of pink on this side because there's a bunch over here. Added this flower right here, and it's really cute. It comes with these pearls in the center um, attached to it already. So I just put that in there, and then um, added a little paper flower <clears throat> from the shop here. Um, as you guys know, I love those flowers so. Um, I just added a little one there because it was kind of a space that just needed a little something. So I just took one of these paper flowers and added it into there. Um, and then, oh, here I added another one of those organza flowers. And these are super cute too. They come with these little um, pieces here attached to them. So it kind of gives it a whole nother layer um, look to your project. And these do come in other colors as well <coughs> besides just the white. So that's my um, collage of flowers. And then <clears throat> here on the box, I added this trim right here. Um, that's from the shop. And um, I, like I had mentioned, I wanted the pink of the box to pull up through. Um, so I wanted to have lace around the edge, but I wanted something where I could still see the color coming through. So I thought that this trim right here would be perfect. And it has these little danglies, which are super cute. And so I just added that around the top edge of the box. And then um, here along the bottom, I added this trim. And I just turned it upside down so that the little scallops were going upwards as opposed to hanging down. <clears throat> and again, I wanted to make sure I kept the color of the box popping through so that this one has like a lot of holes. You could see it still, but then it would still give it like that decorative like finished edge. So again, I added it all the way around the box. And then um, here at the bottom, I added this, I think it's, what is this called? A dragon towel or something trim? Um, I just added that around the bottom all the way around and then on top of that I added this tiny flat back pearl trim <clears throat> hopefully you guys can see everything okay so I added that all the way around just to give it like a nice um, like finished detail and then I had these little um, wooden pieces in my stash and I had four and I knew one day I wanted to use them on something as like feet and then at one point I originally was going to put them on a project so I painted them like this um, very light pink and then I never ended up using them so I just had them in my stash and then when I was working on this box um, I had it totally completed and I it was just sitting and I kind of felt like it needed a little something more so I added the feet to it and then um, as you can see, it's like the perfect little touch to it. And um, so once I got the feet on, I was like, yep, that's exactly what I wanted. So um, I kept everything inside as it was because the box, as you can see, it's nice and finished already. And so you can just add some goodies in there and send to a friend. And then like if you get it, you could um, serve, two, two, serve two purposes as... Um, you know, it's a nice decorative piece, but if some of you guys are limited on space like I am, um, you can have it as a decorative piece, but also a way to store some of your stuff. Because you can see there's a lot of space in there to store things. So, 
usually when I'm working on a project, I kind of have that in mind to make it useful for, you know, looks and for storage and stuff. Um, but that is my box that I created. I think it came out super cute. Of course, I love the color combination because it's like my favorite. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you're interested in any of the items I showed you, make sure you guys check the link that will be in the description box below. And let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.